Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up, wrapped up, tucked up, nice and warm, and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with a book called The Story of Growl by Judy Horacek. And we are well on our mission to have a thousand ad-free stories forever for boys and girls around the world. But back to the story, because it's all about the story, and this is The Story of Growl by Judy Horacek. Once upon a time, this is Growl, and Growl is a little monster. She lives alone in a castle at the end of Eucalyptus Drive. Growl likes to hop and skip and jump and run around her garden, but most of all, she likes to growl. She growls in the morning. She growls in the afternoon. She growls the whole day right up until bedtime. Growl, 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 growl. She growls all through the week, and on Sundays, she sings a little song. My name is Growl. And growl is what I do. Growl. One day, Growl found herself sneaking across the garden towards the neighbor's fence. She climbed up and... Growl. This has gone far enough, said the first neighbor. If we've told you once, we've told you a thousand times, said the second neighbor. It's bad enough living next door to a little monster, but we will not... Have you growling at us afternoon tea time? said both the neighbours together. The neighbours telephoned the police, who made up a special rule. A policeman came to put up a sign. No growling in Eucalyptus Drive. And this means you, he said to Growl. No growling. Growl was the saddest she'd ever been. She tried to hop and skip and jump, but it was no good. She tried to run around her garden, but running is hard when you're trying not to cry. The days seemed to go on forever, and at night she couldn't sleep. On Sunday, she sang very softly to herself. My name is Growl, and I don't know what to do. Late one night, Growl was looking out her window. She saw a strange man creeping across the neighbor's garden. Before Growl knew what she was doing, she opened her mouth and Growl! The strange man ran away as fast as he could. The noise woke the neighbors and they came running out of the house. You have scared away a robber, said the first neighbor. And you've saved our afternoon tea set, said the second neighbor. Maybe your growling isn't so bad after all, said both the neighbors together. When the sun came up, the neighbors rang the police to say that the special no growling rule was no longer necessary. Good, said the policeman. It was much too quiet in your neighborhood. Growl could growl again. Growl, 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 splash, growl. Growl, growl for the rest of the morning and into the afternoon. And even though it wasn't Sunday, she sang her old song. My name is Growl and Growl is what I do. But she added a new line. Except that afternoon tea time. And when afternoon tea is over in Eucalyptus Drive, well... You can imagine what it sounds like. Growl, 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 growl. Come on, let's do it together. Growl, 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 growl. The end of a very funny book called The Story of Growl by Judy Horacek. Here on the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls and growling monsters around the world. Good night.